awakening. Now, the act of waking from sleep or recognition, coming into awareness of something. Revival, restoration to consciousness, vigor, or strength. Awakening, revival. Northampton, Massachusetts, 1730s. George Whitfield speaks to thousands of people in open air about the subject of spiritual rebirth. While Jonathan Edwards warns of the fearful position occupied by sinners in the hands of an angry God. Revival swept the colonies and countless thousands of lives began to change and churches began to change. History remembers this as the Great Awakening. New York, 1857. The United States was in the midst of a spiritual, political, and economic state of decline. Burdened about the spiritual apathy around him, layman Jeremy Lanfear rented a large hall and sent public invitations for a time of prayer. Six people responded, just six. But those six people earnestly began to pray and soon their number began to grow. And over the next two years, more than one million Americans, 3% of the American population, made a public profession of salvation. Lahore, Wales, 1904. A coal miner named Evan Roberts stands before a Monday night prayer meeting and challenges the group of just 17 people to number one, confess all known sin. Number two, seek repentance and restoration. Number three, surrender to the Holy Spirit. And number four, publicly confess Christ. The revival embers that sparked that evening so thoroughly blazed across the entire country of Wales, the editor of the Paul Mulk Gazette in London reported the miners' mules had to be retrained to do their work, quote, without the incentive of profanity. So what is the link? What is the common denominator of these monumental movements of the Holy Spirit of God? How do things like this happen? It's prayer. The first step is always prayer. Every great movement of God begins when His people pray. Extraordinary, unified, passionate prayer. It is time to pray. It is time to pray for renewal. It is time to pray for revival. It is time to pray for an awakening. There have always been questions about the reality of Jesus' resurrection from the dead. Some say Jesus never died because he is a fictional character created by Christians. Others believe that the loyal followers of Jesus took his body only to bury it somewhere else. Whatever stories you've heard, the Bible gives us the factual, absolute truth. His bones and DNA and any types of remains cannot be found simply because Jesus is alive. Celebrate Easter with us on April 16th and discover for yourself all the facts about the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. For these events and more, visit us online at hbc.org or subscribe to our YouTube page. If you're a first time or returning guest, Pastor and Mrs. Fong would love to greet you on your way out and answer any questions you may have. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you tonight for our evening service at 530.